y'all welcome back to the party it is me your girl Britt reacts and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion this is blake shelton surprising craig morgan on the kelly clarkson show and a little birdie tells me that i might get some insight behind one of my favorite craig morgan songs let's find out but yes you're by me you are by me this is what i'm talking about okay this changed my life so did you know that Blake, because Blake tweet, he texted me about, he was like, man, you got to hear this song by Craig Morgan. He's like, it's so beautiful. Will you help me tweet? And I was like, sure, I love him. Like, what's this song? And I wept. Like, it. did you know Blake was going to tweet? Did you know no. he was going to do all that? I didn't have a clue. Okay, I would gladly give up my spot on country radio to get this song on. Wow, Morgan Music. Oh, at C. Morgan Music, you blow me away, brother. There's nothing easy or fun about writing a song like this, but sometimes it just something. it's just something you got to do. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I gotta take a deep breath. I noticed a lot of things going on. So this is an interview on the Kelly Clarkson show. I actually noticed the guy on the couch furthest to the left. He's like a famous makeup artist. I can't think of his, is it like Manny, Manny makeup maybe? I, I recognize him and maybe that's his father. I don't know who the lady is in the middle. Uh, and then you have Craig Morgan. I love that Kelly is referring to Blake like, yeah, Blake just texted me. It's like, Y'all are friends like that? Okay. Um, what a shame that this song was not actually like on the radio at some point. Like, was it not a big radio hit? I reacted to this song like what feels like ages ago, but I was so moved by it that I often think about it and I often cry and I wept. I'm pretty sure I cried in the video. If not, I cried once I was done filming. Um, I feel the same exact way. I felt so moved. I felt so uh, like attached. Um, for those of you don't, that don't know, I lost my older sister in a car accident. So to know that this song was about his son that he lost, I believe in the same way, rocked me. It rocked me. Like it rocked me to my core. I'm emotional just thinking about it. So I'm with Blake on this. Like the fact that I don't know if it wasn't a sing I don't know why, but it should have been on the radio and blasted across the world because it's just such a fantastic song. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Uh, in fact, Shelton. I had actually texted Blake that song right after I had recorded it. And I sent it to him and I didn't hear nothing. Like he didn't say a word to me and thought, you know, Blake lost a brother. I was going to uh, say, it so might have been a little close I thought maybe it was home. a little too close for home for him mm -hmm. to have a conversation I didn't know that. with me about it. And then well. later on, like maybe a month later, I sent him another text. And he replied to me, it was a picture or something. He replied to me, not about the picture I'd seen him, but about the song. I knew the oh, story. Oh, even Mendez. Everybody doesn't know the story of why this song was written. Can you tell so everybody So I lost my son in a drowning accident. Okay, uh, so it was drowning. Ago. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm corrected. It was a drowning accident. Um, Eva Mendez, I'm just trying to figure out the, the correlation of all these people on stage together. I don't know, maybe it's a Father's Day episode. I have no idea. Um... I did not know that Blake had lost a brother. I don't know when this was filmed. This all feels really recent. So this song was like fairly new or I don't know. I don't, I don't know when Kelly's show first started, but I don't feel like it was like ages ago. Okay. All right. Know the story of why this song was written. Can you tell so everybody? So I lost my son in a drowning accident uh, three years ago. That's still and so I tell new. Some of my friends three for years. Them, that happened three years ago. For me, it was yesterday. Yeah. And every day it's yesterday. Jesus. Oh. Uh, so 3.30 one morning, God woke me up guy. and he wrote this. I had, was singing the chorus in my head and I did what I would usually do. I said, I'm going to lay down. I'll, I'll remember it and I'll do it in the morning. And something mm -mm. told me. God said, really get up this. and get write up. it right now. And I got up, I went downstairs <laughs> and I started writing. I picked up a guitar and I started playing the melody that I felt like I'd heard in my head. And four hours later, I finished the song the way you hear it today. Wow. wow. You know why? You needed it. First of all, for those of you that know anything about songwriting, to be able to write a song like that that quickly, that's God. Second of all, that's how God works. Like these God moments, like, no, you got to get up and do it right now. Like God will come to you at any moment and like, no, sometimes you got to do it right now. And look at what came out of it. Look what beauty came out of tragedy. They call it beauty to ashes. Ashes, beauty to ashes. Ashes to beauty. Beauty to ashes. Beauty for ashes, I'm sorry. Uh, meaning like from from the wreckage comes something really beautiful. And unfortunately, his son had to had to pass in a tragic way. But what a beautiful tribute and how many lives, including myself, was changed because of this this boy losing his life. Like it wasn't in vain. 
I don't know how y'all don't be out here believing in God. Like, I, I don't understand it. I, the two plus two is not equal with equaling four to me. Like, I, I don't get it. Uh, all right. This is, I just, I love, y'all know I love any kind of insight, any kind of background, any kind of information I can get that just gives me more connection to a song, to an artist. So I am locked into this. Later, I finished the song the way you hear it today. Wow. You know why? You needed it. Like, that's how I yeah. am as a songwriter. Like, as a songwriter, it's almost like it's therapeutic. It's like I need, I need the release of it. Yeah, people ask that all the time. Is it therapeutic? And I'm sure it probably is. For me, songwriting was always a, a means to an end. Hey, <laughs> or talk about it. Yeah, it's extremely <laughs> therapeutic. It's like talking about myself. It's very difficult, mm -hmm. but it's also a, a wonderful thing because uh, just like the song, you know, he's, he's not physically here, but he's still very present in our mm. lives, yeah. uh, you know. So, so beautiful. Uh, oh. Have you seen Blake since the tweet? Have y'all seen each other? No, we've talked a bunch. How we've is Kelly hiding this surprise then, so uh, well? Fact, uh, you know, we, we shipped it out uh, and it went for, it's going to country radio now. So now yeah. country radio is looking well, for Well, it's number one planet. on iTunes on all the charts. Yeah. I noticed. Which is amazing. Wow. Yeah. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know why though? Yes, it is because Blake initially got people like to listen, but like it's the power of the song that is why For it's so popular sure. why people are jumping on board because it's a powerful, powerful Ugh. message that I feel like, yes, you went through a tragedy, but you also became the vessel for a lot of people's tragedy. Told y'all, I, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, he, he became the vessel out of his tragedy and he touched so many, like a little black girl from the suburbs like me, you know what I mean? Like. Oh, there's so much power in music. There's so much power in sharing your your pain because pain is platform, my friends. It's platform. It gives you platform. Look at me. I have I have testimony. I have pain, and I'm able to come on here and talk to you guys in relation to music, but also talk about real life. Like, what a blessing. What a blessing. Oh, this it gives is so me good. Confidence to know that even though I didn't want to do this song, in fact, the first time I did it, I didn't finish it. I'm, I I'm sure. I apologize to the audience. I'm you know, I sure. Said I, was, I, I don't know that I'll ever do it. And the guys worked it up. We did it on the Grand Ole Opry. That's I where walked, I watched it. I barely it. got through it and I walked off and, and Ricky Skaggs was standing there and I told Ricky, I said, he said, I, that is a beautiful song. I said, well, I'm glad you got to hear it because I'll never, never do it again. again. <laughs> I said, I'll never be able to do that again. Oh. <clears throat> and he oh. put his hands on my shoulders and he said, uh, he said, you have to sing this song. Ooh. There are people that need to hear this. You Ooh. have to do it. And so, I mean, I took it to heart and here we are. <laughs> Jesus. Well, anyway. well, here's the thing. I was so moved by it. I wanted to surprise you so I have someone here to see you. Come on out, Blake. Oh, <laughs> that just almost broke my heart. Y'all, I need context because it's almost getting a little awkward with all these other people. That was such a like intimate, emotional moment. And there's just like all these other people just sitting on stage like, why are they there? And what is the relevance? He got choked up and it really almost just, oh, Jesus. Oh, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> oh. Blake Shelton is so tall. He's huge. Look at him introducing himself. He's such a gentleman. I've shared this story before. I've met Blake Shelton. I was actually in a music video of his. Fun fact. Um, as a dancer and he did the exact and Gwen Stefani showed up on set y'all I was I didn't get to meet her but I was fan actually I'm lying I'm lying I did get meet her but I was fangirling hard she had the red lipstick on she had a beanie on like this she was so cute anyway he walks up and he does the exact same thing Blake nice to meet you it's like sir I know who you are I know who you are and this is before I started this channel this is before I really fell into country music and his his catalog I knew who he was what do you mean? And even if I didn't, he's this tall, statuesque, gorgeous man. Like, sir, hello, how are ya? Um, I just love the humbleness. He's such a humble man. Oh my gosh! Oh, that is Manny makeup! I was right! I was trying so hard! I love being right. <laughs> he even, he even acknowledges the audience. Yeah. to get you out of here but i couldn't get I'm... that part over with don't drag <laughs> me in on that oh, sorry. oh god i'm sorry no but what did the song i know that you have had loss in your life like what did that song like when you first heard it what was your initial you know i think it's it's easy to connect that song to 
anything that's happened in your own life, mm -hmm. but because Craig's been a friend of mine for so long, yeah. and Gwen and I were actually at the funeral. Yeah. And oh, wow. I, I didn't connect it to anything. To, all I could, it was his story. And it, and it hit me that hard just knowing him. Wow. It's a horrible tragedy. I can't even imagine. But man, you know, it's just such a great, great song. And, and he had sent it to me <laughs> probably a month before I reacted to it, right? <laughs> I'm a great friend, aren't I? <laughs> but when the kids are around, I have zero access to my phone. Like it's, yeah. and, and I even knew that there was a, an attachment yeah, yeah. there, but I, I couldn't get my phone back. It's and kind of so, like what Kelly did to me when I text. This happens to me a lot. Like my daughter will open text messages or she'll like open, like she'll go on my Instagram and open things and like I won't know for like months. It's just, if you're a parent, put just put the raise your hand emoji in the comments if that happens to you. Like, and I feel like people think it's like a cop out when I say like, I promise you, I'm, I was not ignoring you. I didn't know this text ex existed. Like forget about it. If she's better now because she's older, she actually has her own phone, but like own phone. But before she had her own device, oh, forget it. She would like, give me my phone back. And then like a day later, be like, oh yeah, mommy, so-and-so texted you. <laughs> I just got in the habit of like going through my phone and checking it after a while. But I think that story's funny because it's so relatable. Yeah, yeah. There, but I, I like, couldn't get my phone back. It's kind of so... like what Kelly did to me when I texted her. <laughs> Ooh. And she just, uh, you know. What's so tea? <laughs> and then, but I'm glad it did slow down. I'm glad it did slow down. You got a minute yeah. to do it. Because well, I did. He texted powerful. me about something. He was uh, elk hunting or something. And, and then you and saw, saw it. I was yeah. like, oh crap. I didn't even respond yeah. to the last Happens one. Happens all I the heard, time. I was by myself at the house. And I lost my mind. I yeah. literally lost my mind. So it's such a it's great so moment. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And so beautiful. Are you going to sing it for us? Yes, <gasps> oh, he try. sings it on okay. the show. Craig I can't watch to that again. This song. When we come back, y'all, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> That's really fresh. A three year, that's still really fresh. And, and as a parent, three years is truly yesterday. So the fact that he does have to relive this moment, and, and I said this in my reaction, the fact that he, his willingness to open that wound every time he performs that song, you guys, I think we have to give artists so much credit when they are um, vulnerable in that way that they share their personal lives and experience through song for our entertainment for our gain for our inspiration and it could really be hurting them is just something so applaudable it's like you really are living in your purpose when you can do something like that you know it's like it's not for you it's for other people and and again then his son didn't lose his life in vain his son lives on in the way that he's able to heal other people and affect other people and maybe even save some people's lives just from his story i don't know the you know specifications of the drowning but you know, wanting to go Google it and then maybe finding out information about how it happened and how to prevent it could help me save my kids' lives. You never know. But it's just like all of that could transpire because his dad answered the call when God spoke to him, got up and wrote that song on behalf of his son. That's, it's so powerful. It's so powerful. It's hard to like digest. Um, that was beautiful. I, I loved that interview, Kelly did a really good job with the interview. Like it seemed really genuine and um, heartfelt. I love Blake coming out. They're clearly friends because Blake was just kissing that man all over his cheek. So <laughs> thank you so much for that suggestion. You guys know I love to get to the heart of the matter. Um, it's not just surface for me. It's not just entertainment. It is a means for me to be able to uh, connect. And I'm so grateful. So I hope that you enjoy this. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and uh, go and have the day that you deserve. Bye.